Good morning, and today on Wayne's Lock Shop and Locksmith Channel, we're going to be removing a Adams Wright 4900 series paddle exit option, and we're going to be installing a proper exit device or crash bar or panic device, whatever you want to refer to it as. First step is to get all of the old hardware out of the door. We're going to actually utilize the hole that the locking cylinder has, but we're going to patch the rest of it and mount an exit. All right, got all the hardware off the door, out of here, all the atoms right and everything is off. Now we're going to actually install that actual exit device right on here. Here we're going to focus on the installation of the rim cylinder. You can see we've got a good matching cylinder right there. And We'll cover this hole when we're done, but we just needed to cut these screws down just a little bit and get them installed along with the backing plate and the tailpiece. Here we have the mortise rim cylinder attached and the tailpiece hanging off the back. You can see the screws that go through and the new cylinder on the outside. We need to cut the tailpiece down. So I'm going to go ahead and hold that with some vice grips and then cut it with a Dremel tool or angle grinder. Cut that down. We're also going to need to cut this exit device down. It's too long. It's longer than the door. So I'm going to measure where we want that to stop and then go ahead and cut it down. Now I'm going to drill the through bolts that actually mount the exit device on here. This is the panic bar being cut down. Milwaukee seven and a quarter inch saw with a steel demon blade will cut through the steel. Here we have the actual device mounted using the through bolts. You can see them through that little pocket. We wanted to use a through bolt on the back, but we couldn't because the continuous hinge, it was going to go right directly into that continuous hinge. So we ended up using a rivet nut or a nut zert or a blind nut to mount that in place. It gives us a lot of extra threads. Here we're utilizing GKL products bridges to be able to mount this cover plate to cover up the hole and the gap here. All right, so then to dog it down, you just push the bar in, turn the Allen head key, stays unlocked, turn the key back, and give it a pop and it opens right up. Okay. Here's the exit device fully mounted and in place. And here it is shut and locked in the locking position and locked with the strike on the side of the frame. For more information about locksmith work and how to install hardware, scan the QR code and fill out an application to waynslockshop.com.